Hi everyone, welcome back to the valley. So we're in the tram tunnels on our way to Astro Weapons Facility. We got some more rails. In response to the recent sabotage attempt and arrest of the culprits, I am ordering all Pathfinder operations to be suspended and all leaf suits to be locked away until project completion. The suits are too powerful to fall into the wrong hands. Additionally, I am requesting all evidence of the sabotage attempt, including private first class Edwin Hall's own leaf suit and Miss King's recordings, to be gathered and sent to storage until a proper military tribunal can take place. Until then, all suspects will remain in detention. With the recent increase in production, it should not be long. Yeah, I know this section isn't as cool as the previous section. But still, let's, uh... Damn, I messed that up. <laughs> that was not good. Okay. Let's do this again. But I want to get through his little speech. They really should have had some cool music for this section. <coughs> Perfect. Don't see nothing down there. Ooh. If I remember correctly, this section's a little confusing. And I could swear you had enemies too. Go this way. I know there's the water down, and if you fall into that, you're done for. Tram tunnel. Proving grounds. Pick that up while we're at it. Uh, I just want to make sure everything's good on the recording. If there was anything up here. No. Got a plethora. Oh, that's where they start testing the bombs. Get some of these trees back. There we go. This one's glitched out.
eight. That's good. Uh oh. There's another one. Perfect. From Virginia King, by my calculations, the natives who inhabited this land vanished several centuries ago. What happened to them? Where did they come from? Why did they come here? The soil is not ideal for agriculture. The best I can reason that this must have been sacred ground to them. Come on. That one's glitched out. Let's see here. I want to go up this way first before I go down that way. I don't know which way to go. I think I need to go that way, but I want to go down this hole first. Oh, almost missed one. The land sharks are competing against the raptors today. They're fast, agile, and a little overconfident, but I'm sure we can beat them. That all depends on our new recruit, how our new recruit holds up. I hope you'll be cheering us on today. Okay, I was not supposed to go down there. There was some like monster teeth or something down there. All right, get some trees back. I just killed a little bit of the valley. Okay. Okay. I landed on something. That's good. Oh. Where's my nearest jump point? Damn. Right here. There we go. Damn. I'm dead. Ooh, and there's one of you down here. Hey, come back here. Ooh, there's multiple of you. Okay. Damn. At least got one. Holy crap. Ooh, there's another one over there.
All right, let's start over. these because you have to make it through the hooks through this section if you fall down to the bottom you have to start over oh. pulled together the valkyries only have half as many medallions as we need to access the step pyramid i hear the raptors are are a good chunk of the way there but my money's on the land sharks being the first to enter Okay. Don't remember what this was. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, damn, I missed it. Oh. Okay, good. It put me here. That is good. Yep, I see you. Fall. I don't remember which way to go. Damn. Okay, that'll do. The problem with that section is it's hard to judge distance. It's hard to judge distance for when you need to grapple. I can pull those towards me from a distance. I don't know why I keep running towards them. You just have to be careful when you do that because sometimes you'll hit a tree or an animal and suck the life out of them.
know there's more. And they teleport around. There you are. Okay, where'd you go? Where did he go? I know I did not kill him. Ooh, there you are. The good thing is these orbs do come back. April 24th, 1943. What is the significance behind these colossal statues found throughout the valley? I find they all look so very voracious. I keep returning to the idea of the mythical Sai Te Ka, the legendary tribe of cannibalistic giants that roamed North America and came into conflict with the aboriginals. But why would they be worshipped here? There must be something else to it. Yeah, probably. We barely made that one. Giant colossal. Stop sliding, please. Oh, he's chained. That's cool looking. There we go. As the astral facility increases output, the orbs can no longer keep up. As such, energy will often be pulled from its surroundings. Only those equipped with leaf suits may venture near during increased production. Yeah, so it sucks up all the orbs and then begins sucking life out of the valley. Oh, please don't crash. Virginia King, May 19th, 1943. The Sasaurians much like other indigenous peoples, seem to hold strong cultural value in legendary creatures. The most notable one being the creature depicted on all these doorways. It resembles the mythological Wendigo, a fierce creature with an insatiable desire to consume flesh. The creature is most often linked with both greed and famine, acting as a balance of nature. Why would this creature hold such a strong cultural significance? Uh, I want to get a quick screenshot. I just love the way that tree looks, that pink and that blue.
over this way. Whoops, I'm stuck. That's so beautiful. Especially with the blue light. Like fairies or lightning bugs, something's going around the tree. Thirty-six. Those medallions. Oops. And then here's the pyramid. I saw you trying to snurk. One of them was trying to snorkel back. Circle back around me. A purple one. There you are. They're just so quick sometimes. The fact they can teleport. And you can fast travel, by the way. I don't know if I've ever said that. But you can fast travel back to other areas. So if you didn't fully explore, that's perfectly fine. You can go back. So making sure all the, the enemies are dealt with. The pyramid built by the Sasaurians served as a ceremonial structure exalting the Colossi. Along with the Titan Tree and Daemons, they intertwined to form a mythology. From what I gathered, the Colossi were once humans who feasted upon the forbidden fruit, corrupting them into giant monstrosities, cannibalizing their fellow man and devouring all life within the valley. Is this a tale of caution? Are the Sasurians warning us against abusing the power of the life seed? It's quite possible. I know I don't have enough because I think you need even more. Down inside. Virginia King. The sheer amount of effort the Ceruli Cerulians put into constructing, constructing these archaeological marvels is astonishing. It's a bit hard to understand sometimes. They had clearly grasped forms of advanced mathematics to be able to construct such structures. How long did it take them? How large of a population was sustained here? It would have to be in the thousands. Wendigo mythology is utterly fascinating. Not only do they reflect famine and harsh winters, but they also greed and gluttony. Sometimes even humans overcome with greed with could even humans overcome with greed could turn into a wendigo, doomed to feast upon flesh of man for the rest of their lives, never feeling sat satiated. Sometimes they are depicted as ever growing as they consume more and more flesh. Will I sleep tonight? Just a myth, Virginia, just a myth. Yeah, maybe not just a myth. Hmm. There we go. The Viper Coil Dampener nullifies its energy cost. Okay. 
I can't believe we're the first squad to collect enough medallions to get inside this place. The land sharks can eat it. To be fair, we owe a lot of it to these weird prototype upgrades, upgrades we were ordered to test out. We should make this pyramid our new base camp. This magical fire in here spooks me a little though. Yeah, never ending flames. 40. Yeah, I think you gotta pretty much collect every medallion in order to get into that door. And that's a pain in the butt to do. I've done it. It just spent a lot of hours trying to collect everything. Oh, there's... Oh, shitload of them. There we go. Perfect. Smoke Lake. Oh, he just killed all the life I was trying to bring back. Bastard. I literally got rid of everything. You know, by bringing these back to life, that way in case you ever die, you've got something to pull from. If you just leave all these dead and then you die, then it's like game over. Okay. That should be good for now. Ooh, I'm not going to make that. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Alright. Perfect. Oh, there's a little deer buddy. There you go. Come back to life. There you go. Ah, wow, there's one. And it just freaking teleported away. Damn. Quit moving. Damn, I knew there was another one around here. Come out. Come out. Whoops, I just killed the tree. There you are. Just one. Oh, it's some vines that I killed.
Yeah, I see you up there. Causing trouble. Perfect, I don't need you messing with me. There we go. I really want my walk on water upgrade about now. Oh, is it right here? Is we gonna finally get it? Lake Skipper Upgrade allows Pathfinders to run across water for a limited duration. Your speed will increase as you run. Hey, buddies. I have tasked the Valkyrie Pathfinder squad with testing out the Lake Skipper Upgrade for the Leaf Suit. The lake near the Astra facility should prove ideal for the assessment. I expect a full report on my desk as soon as testing is complete. Finally. I don't gotta worry about water now. Crap, I should have kept going, I should have kept going. It's alright. That was nothing. That sucked. trees while well, why don't you all right let's 
straight across. Oh, damn. I did not realize jumping into water, you gotta actually run. Ooh, I reached the limit. And I went the wrong freaking way. Okay. There we go. Much better jump. Why not bring back some of these trees real quick? Why not? We're here. Because we gotta go for our final jump. Here we go. And jump. Oh yeah. Right in. Astro facility. I don't think there was anything over here. Yeah, there's like nothing. Now we get to see how the weapons are made. In case of emergency, measures are in place to contain any core meltdowns within the Astra facility. Pumping stations will continuously divert water from the lake into Astra until, until the core is cool, averting fallout. I mean, it sounds like they could produce massive amounts of energy and supply it as electricity, basically, to power civilization, but instead they're so focused on weapons. The emergency flood. Private Riley, today I was ordered to patrol the Astro facility. McDavid was all panicky about some sabotage attempt or, so attempt or something. Yeah, right, I thought. I Anyhow, I fell asleep. There we go.
where y'all are. They're just chilling down here. <laughs> what are these guys doing out here? Probably they're being held hostage, kind of. I don't know why I did not latch onto the wall there. Okay, let's try that again. This time, can I hit some of them, please? Yeah, I cannot. Okay. Which way is up? That's what I'm struggling with right now. Okay. Ooh, okay. stuck on the wall. Enemies. Are there any enemies? Oh, shit. I think this is a boss battle. Pretty sure. Human bones. And I could have swore this is a boss battle. Okay, where are you coming up at? Where are you? Damn. Ooh. Okay. Damn. 
Where the hell are you? Damn. Crap, I think I did it. Ooh, I'm surprised I made it through that. Do I go this way? Search for a way to shut down Astra. The bomb. It's only the beginning. Imagine a weapon of mass destruction without the structural damage incurred. By extrapolating the mechanics of the Leaf Suit's god hand to a larger scale, I have devised a weapon capable of stripping all life from cities, even entire nations when used with the Life Seed. The Thanatos Cannon will be the optimal super weapon, rendering all others obsolete. These bombs we're all competing to produce will look paltry in comparison. Thanatos. This must be the weapon Virginia planned on using. Andrew Fisher. The Brahm Brahmastra will be the greatest bomb the world has ever seen. It's I should be able to gather enough Amrita energy to produce a hundred megaton bomb. Can you imagine? Every nation on Earth will tremble before this unprecedented weapon. I mean, all it does is suck out life, and that's it. I mean, I can see where that could be useful. If you use it on a city or a country. Because then you could get rid of all life leaving all the buildings, all the technology, everything intact. Then you could just go in and take it for yourself. Inhabit a whole city without no damage. But still, it's a lot of loss of life. Damn, I thought I was stuck for a minute there. waiting for me. Quantum research. I see one up there. August 16th, 1944. Can't quite get to it. You knew about this the entire time, didn't you? Miss please. How could you? They're living creatures. You have no idea what's at stake here. They're embryos. The orbs you've been using are demon eggs. What you're doing here is... Trying to get that one up there. Damn, too far away. But yeah, they've been turning those little woodland sprites into these like little monsters. It's so sad. Taking their eggs or something. There's one right here. Okay. 
Okay. Vivisection of specimen 087 cost the lives of two researchers which, with, when the circulatory system was pumped with Amrita compound X7 in an attempt to measure storage capacity. The resulting explosion has shown us that a mass of Amrita can draw energy from its surroundings. Amrita appears to act like an element of the periodic table, yet its entire makeup is much more complex than that of a molecule. Its nucleus contains protons and neutrons in an obscure lattice formation. As the nucleus rotates, certain protons and neutrons appear and reappear, akin to a four-dimensional tesseract. little eggs see and they're just oh it's so terrifying specimen 006 has been starved of raw amrita energy for 54 days before eventually dying yes I guess that's what these feed on are those orbs and then they just stuck them in here and starved them to death as some experiment. Very cruel. Typical instruments were unable to puncture the specimen until the discovery of the Amrita blade. Amrita energy contains the ability to cross into the ethereal creature's phase. So they're like quantum creatures. I can finish what Virginia started. Alright, it's been updated. I honestly don't think there's really any collectibles in this area. Because once you get through this section, I think it's done for. You cannot come back. It's one of the few areas that you can't come back to. So I don't think they put actually any collectibles here. For that reason. the reactor, uh, the Astra weapons facility. Thanatos cannon. Oh, wait. Maybe we're going to we target Astra. We have temporarily Astra. removed the live seed from the Soma reactor necessary for the amplification, thus creating a harmless feedback loop when they attempted to fire Thanatos. Without the live seed, their plan was doomed to fail from the beginning. I will not tolerate any more disruptions. We have lost too much ground to Manhattan. Operations will resume exponentially. If the orbs will not suffice, then we'll use the damn valley itself. Okay. Okay. Do I get in here? Where do I go? We're going up. Amplified feedback loop. Just like blowing out a speaker. Can I get in here, please? There we go. I can't 
aim up or down. Perfect. I'm not sure which facility we're destroying. Danger! Thermal core meltdown detected. Cooling protocol initiated. All personnel must vacate the premise immediately through emergency corridors. Yeah, this is why you can't come back to this section. Because it's done for at this point. My little aiming thing is gone. I'm not exactly sure where I'm changing. Not exactly sure where I'm freaking aiming. Fisher's office. Any notes? I beg of you, Fisher, the pendulum must reduce production immediately to mitigate its determinal, determinant, detrimental environmental effects. The world has the right to experience this place. And we will lose it if nothing is done. That is so difficult to read with the text jumping all over the place. Remember what I accomplished? Not very much. Maybe they didn't actually create those creatures on purpose. Maybe it was an accident. Like a byproduct of them starving them, those creatures. They basically created a monster. There's another one. Ooh, everything is coming apart. When well, the doors are closing. Watch out for the flames.
<laughs> so how come I survived the water that time? I think this might be it. I think this is the end of the game. We're on the poor deer. With the combined power of Thanatos and the Brahmastra form, the power to control the world will lie within the hands of a small few. Every nation on Earth will tremble. there we have it that was such a good game uh, and it was literally one of those games where no one had played it when I first came across it so I really had no idea what to expect and then when I played it for the first time I freaking loved it I still do that was so enjoyable and you can go back and visit other areas and do some more exploring and gather more of the medallions. But all it does is upgrade your leaf suit. I think it makes it so that jumping no longer takes up uh, any energy and whatnot and stuff like that. Yeah, and this was a lot shorter than what I thought. I thought it was like maybe 10 hours. That only ended up being like four hours, four or five hours of gameplay. That's it. Of course, the first time around, I did explore a lot more, and there really isn't a whole lot to explore. It's kind of like big open areas. And then of course, there's the medallion collecting and. You can get more of those canister upgrades and stuff like that to help. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the story of the valley. That's such a good game. I'll have to look this up and see who made it. And see if they've made any other games similar to this one. They certainly could have made this longer. This is definitely one of my most favorite games. And it's just the visuals, the music, the cool little abilities. No, I don't want to skip just yet. And I like how it's not a dark screen either. They actually have images. I wonder if these were like proof of concept type images. the little sprites different versions I mean it's probably what this is just artwork for the game different concepts Such good artwork.
Those creatures are so cool looking. They kind of look like Wendigos. So maybe that's where the legend of the Wendigos came from. Or when those creatures are starved, they turn into monsters. Yeah, there's just so much lore. I think I got most of the pages. And I've read most of it, but still there's so much lore I think this game could have had. Like, a little bit more about this ancient race of humans who lived there and these statues. And... I just lo love these little artworks. Different doorways. different generators. Someone took a lot of time with all these drawings. And all this artwork. And I want to know more about the giants. If they were actual giants. sucks. I thought this would be at least six or seven hours. At the very least. It was a lot shorter than what I thought. But this is like a good weekend game. Where if you just want to do a game for the weekend and that's it. Hope you enjoyed your adventure. You can continue your journey by seeking out all the secret hidden secrets hidden. Thank you for playing the team at Blue Island Studios. Well I certainly enjoyed it Blue Island. Oh, there is one more thing I want to do. Where was it? I want to do the rails one more time, but I don't remember exactly where it is.
Was it this way? At just 17 square kilometers, the size of the valley itself is considerably small, particularly in the remote regions of the Rocky Mountains, which can stretch for thousands of kilometers. I think this is where the rails are. If not, I may just have to end the video and then come back to it later. It is. Let's do this one more time. Oh, damn. Why am I not going to make this one? No! Oh! Why did it not work that time? I don't know why it's doing it. Maybe I'm jumping too early. Damn, I hit that same thing again. Damn, I don't know why I cannot make this jump. I made it the first time. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. That was a bit frustrating.
Fantastic. Oh, I love that section so much. Except for that one jump I could not get for some reason. But, oh, right, there you have it. That is the valley. So, I'll leave a description. I'll leave, uh, leave a link in the description below if you want to buy it, do some more exploring. I highly recommend, it, recommend this game, and I love it. So, thanks for joining me on this journey, and I will see you next time.